en route, requesting you secure the scene. Hello ladies and gentlemen we are back signal to signal is back this is season 6 and the theme for the season is very simple we are taking popular search comparos that you guys have put up on the internet motorcycles against motorcycles cars against cars motorcycles against cars and we are putting them on a drag strip and this season starts off with a banger we have the Harley Davidson X440 going up against the Triumph Speed 400 Yeah, we're a little late to the party. We know that because these motorcycles got launched last year, but this still remains to be a very popular search comparo. So here we are. Well, it's because one of them is a classic roadster, whereas the other one is a modern roadster. Also, they happen to fall in the same price category. But wait. Who are you? who are you like wh- who 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 is who is this guy like who is this rider for now my name is rider AT rider AT whoever you are we've got a race so let's go for it let's race Speed 400. What a bike! It just goes off the line. It just propels itself. It's just fun to ride. It's light. It's quick, and it's just very engaging to ride. The X440, on the other hand, has a very different personality. It was never meant to be a performance roadster. Of course, it has the numbers and it has a big engine as well, but it was always meant to be this calm, soothing, very peaceful, pleasant motorcycle. It's meant to be a motorcycle where you can actually relax and enjoy whatever's around you. That's what the X440 stands for. Well, the speed, on the other hand, as the name says, speed. It is just meant to have fun on. Awesome, but we still have the switch to happen. I don't expect a different result, but it's my time on the Speed 400. So here we have it. The Triumph Speed 400 is not only big on style, but it is big on performance as well. I absolutely agree with Rider 80 here. I never had an opportunity in the past to launch it off a line, and this was fun. It's fast, it's light, and the speed at the drag strip really shines. I, I had a lot of fun, honestly. Well, the X440 on the other hand is a very torquey motorcycle. It got off the line so quickly, but however, it lacks in its top end. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, these motorcycles aren't meant to be on a drag strip. These are everyday motorcycles, and outside of the drag strip, please take a test spin before you ultimately decide on buying a motorcycle. But this is S to S, signal to signal. We do things the power drift way. This is just the start. You're going to see a lot more content some really fun comparos coming your way from this season of Signal to Signal and you'll also know who Rider 80 is in the upcoming episodes see you soon